Uh, good afternoon to all of you. My name is Jyoti Gulaya. I'm a research scholar at JD Goenka University. The topic of my paper is quantity of DNA extracted from the tissue preserved in formalin and ethanol. This is a comparative study. This work has been done under the supervision of Dr. Naresh Kumar and Dr. Niharika Srivastava. Coming to the next slide, which shows the abstract. Uh, first of all, a biological evidence found at a crime scene is extremely crucial in the court of law. It basically paves the way for the police to get the culprit arrested. But this can only be possible if that evidence has been properly collected, preserved, documented, and processed. In many fields of research, forensic sciences, disaster victim identification, sexual assault, and nucleic, and nucleic acid extraction from preserved tissue is of extreme importance. Then formalin is known as the gold standard in tissue preservation. It has been used in centuries for the fixation of tissues. It has great embalming and the antiseptic properties. There are many studies which have used various preservatives which aids in the preservation of uh, tissues. This research specifically is concentrated on understanding the difference in the quantity of DNA extracted from tissues preserved in ethanol and the tissues preserved in formalin to have a comparative analysis of these two. So for this organic extraction has been done on the preserved tissues and the ABI trio kit has been used for the DNA extraction and quantification. And the study has finally concluded that the preservatives such as ethanol can be used as a safer alternative to uh, carcinogenic uh, product like formalin. Uh, so, and moreover, different concentration of ethanol can be tested in regard of better yield in extraction of DNA. Coming to the introduction part. Uh, first of all, fixation, it is a process by which the tissues are preserved and uh, uh, they are protected from vitrification, which is a short term thing that uh, usually happens to a tissue. Then preservation basically refers to the long term prevention of deterioration. Their objectives include that presenting the cell with a distinct and detailed morphological and uh, microscopical appearance, then maintenance of the appearance and their form, then protection from autolysis and the dehydration, and protection from other agents of deterioration, which includes physical as well as chemical agents. Next slide, please. Then coming to the need for this research, first of all, proper preservation of tissue is of extreme importance from the qualitative and the quantitative analysis of DNA. So uh, then in cases of disaster victim identification, which is an act of identifying and repatriating all the victims and their body part with an intention of finding the, their sources, the tissues which are sampled during the DVI actions require a preservation from the time of collection to the point at which they are transferred to a lab. So refrigeration can be employed, but there are uh, places uh, or, uh, you know, mass disaster can occur in such an area where refrigeration is not possible. So for that case, also, we require such a preservative, which can give a long term usage. Then uh, DNA analysis has also been recommended by the Interpol as a primary method of identification, along with the fingerprint and the dental analysis. Then especially in cases of sexual assault, properly tissue, a properly preserved tissue allows the forensic scientists to Enable, uh, enable them to extract sufficient amount of DNA and hence profiling thereof. Then of course, it's of basic importance in paternity testing also. Next slide, please. Coming to the review of literature, the most commonly used preservative in the literature has been following. First of all is the formaldehyde solution. Formaldehyde solution are those which basically contains formalin. Formalin is uh, composed of a saturated water solution containing 39 to 40% of formaldehyde in, in it. Formaldehyde is a colorless and flammable gas with the characteristic pungent odor. It has a severe disadvantages uh, associated with it that it has been considered as a carcinogen. And it has some severe effect on the health of its user as well. Then non-formaldehyde solutions are those which do not have formaldehyde in it. They have a blend of acid, then buffer solution and a cross-linking agent in it. Then ethanol, of course, alcohol-based fixatives are a choice for users to go for. Uh, the, they are very good, they are easy to use, then there are different concentrations in which they are used in the past literatures. 
some prefer that 70% by volume in water works as an effective biocide. Some say that 70% diluted with the TE buffer uh, gives better results instead of water. Then others recommend that 95 to 99% of ethanol also give good quantity. Then coming to phenoxyethanol, uh, it is basically when the phenol is treated with ethylene oxide, this results into phenoxyethanol, which is a very common product in first aid and the medical cosmetic uh, products. Uh, then comes the normal saline. It's an easy to use, non-hazardous and a very cheap substance which has been used for the preservation of tissue. And there are studies which shows uh, that a good quantity of DNA has been extracted from tissues which were preserved in normal saline comparative to formalin. Then natural substitutes, they are of course a real wound when the hazards of formalin are compared. Natural substitutes such as honey, jaggery, they can be opted because of their antioxidative and antibacterial properties. Then comes the RNA later. This is a recently developed aqueous ammonium sulfate reagent. It is little to non-toxic and it is a non-flammable liquid, but it has a disadvantage that it is, it is quite expensive in price. So coming to the next slide, the, method, uh, the methodology which has been used in this study, that this study has been approved by the IEC of Civil Hospital Gurgaon and the consent from the legally acceptable representative of the disease has been obtained because this is a study which, were, which was particularly based on the tissues collected from human samples. So the organs which were used in this study includes heart, lung, liver, kidney and brain. The tissues were then further cut into small segment, making uh, the sample size N50 using the laboratory protocol. 25 samples were uh, placed immediately into 10% neutral buffered formalin. The rest 25 were placed into the solutions containing ethanol in 100% concentration. Then the tissues were preserved at 4 degree for 100 days in both the type of preservative. And then DNA was isolated using the organic extraction method. And DNA quantification was later on done using the ABI DNA quantification kit. Next slide, please. Uh, this is the picture when the tissues were preserved in NBF and ethanol. And the second picture, the figure two, represents the tissues which are sampled and uh, they were undergoing the DNA extraction process. Next slide, please. These are the graphs which were obtained when the DNA profile was obtained uh, from a tissue which was preserved in formalin. Here we can see that they were not giving efficient result at all. Those small marker was showing some kind of a result, but large markers were a complete failure in that case. Then figure two represent the DNA profiles which were obtained from tissue sampled in ethanol. Here we can see that they were efficient enough to give good result even after 100 days at four degrees Celsius. Next slide, please. Coming to the result part, the results leave it. As I just said, that the tissues which are preserved in formalin at four degree, they were not able to generate the complete profile due to the binding or the inhibition. It has been seen that the DNA profiling for formalin has been unsuccessful if a tissue or the, has been preserved in such a condition. On the other hand, the tissue sample which are kept in ethanol yielded good result even after the 100 days. As per the result of the quantity obtained from the tissue sample preserved in formalin, it could be amplified due to the inhibition and the quantity of the DNA, which was found to be poor, the most affected area with a large size marker, which were above the 300 base pairs. Uh, as of like the small markers, which included, uh, I have mentioned the names over here, uh, which range from 80 base pairs to 150 base pairs, they were able to give some kind of a result, but still they were not efficient to give a proper DNA profile. And then in ethanol, the sample, uh, which were uh, which yielded good result, uh, they were, in fact, the markers with lesser base pair, that is 70 base pair, which include the name mentioned in the slide, they also yielded excellent profile and even the large marker yielded good result. Next slide, please. Uh, coming to the conclusion part, considering the carcinogenic nature of formalin and the inefficiency to generate profile, there is of course a need to find an alternative to it. And contrary to formalin, the ethanol, on the other hand, yielded very good results. So of course it can be opted as, uh, as an alternative to formalin because it is not as carcinogenic as formalin. 
and it is a safer alternator which can be used in the laboratories for the nucleic and nucleic acid extraction from the preserved tissue samples in the above mentioned said condition which has been done in the studies thank you so much